This is Marta Sparas Candelo, and today we're going to get to know another artist. This time, it's Antoine Paul Camilleri. Where can we start? How do you feel about art in general? Well, uh, there's so much to say about art. You know, things, things have changed from, uh, from when I started, you know. I started off as, uh, as uh, in an early, very early age. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a very nice environment, you know, Balsan, where we used to live. Okay. Uh, so we had a yard. Uh, and by the way, my father is uh, Antoine Camilleri, so uh, I had one of the best, you know, artists. And one teachers good, from the very teachers, beginning. Teachers, uh, <laughs> artist, father, young know, friend. <coughs> it was all these things. Uh, so. For you. And uh, it was a nice environment, apart from the environment itself. As mm -hmm. I've already mentioned, uh, we were five brothers. So there, there were, you know, all this movement going on and a lot uh, of commotion. <laughs> uh, and my father used to experiment a lot with with different media. Uh -huh. So this helped us a lot, you know. So uh, as you might imagine, at that very young age, you see, you know, uh, from a design, you know, a carnival mask to to life, life or more life than size. life size, you know, things that uh, astonish you. Uh, it, uh, and did all of you take part in this yes, yes, play uh, art? Uh, and all of my brother's sisters, you know, uh, set for the, you know, O levels and A levels in art. So oh, that's it, was, very good. it was ongoing. So it's and it was also on. healthy, you know, even competition between our, us. <laughs> you know, it was very healthy at, the, at, at that time. So uh, that was a very good start, you know, for me. And uh, at this very, uh, you know, stage, I'm still experimenting. So it's something, you know, my father always said to never, never sit still, but go on, and on the voyage. experimenting on, on the voyage, you know, so, so it's something... Uh, that's uh, very open and uh, that's very open-minded. I learned. Uh, apart from that, he was a very disciplined uh -huh. teacher. And uh, we really got to know, you know, all the basics and all the theories. So I believe in that myself, you know, you have to really know all, all the rules and all the theories to break them, you know. It's important you know them before you break them. Okay, so it's, all right. It's, it's a mistake, I think. Uh, to break before it, to know. It, it's happening today, today, uh, all, all, all the at the present times. All over the world or just in uh, Even time? in music, not in, in art as drawing, you know. Uh, they don't uh, get to study most most of them, you know, the theory and the, okay. all, the, all the, you know, rules they, they and They don't theory. really get submerged before they try uh -huh. something new. The mediums you, you chose? Well, uh, I do several mediums. I, mm -hmm. I worked in stone, I worked in wood, uh, I work in metal. Mm -hmm. My favorite, although it's, uh, my favorite medium is clay. And okay. this was also always available. At, at our at our house in Balsam, because my father used to work with clay, with the technique he used, clay and resin. Okay. It's a unique, you know, technique he used. So it was always available it was, to uh, us. It was plentiful in the house. Uh -huh. And <laughs> clay, uh, as a medium, is very versatile. You know, it's, it, uh -huh. it's a very versatile. A lot of techniques to master. In fact, you cannot master each one of them. Uh -huh. But uh, I find it a very, <coughs> sorry, very good medium to express myself. You know, uh, clay. So that's your favorite. But uh, as I said before, uh, the, you have to master drawing okay. before, you know, drawing, you know, as regards uh, figure proportion, as regards, you know, uh, to landscape perspective, color, really perspective theories of color, all these things, you mm -hmm. cannot go to something else see, or, or to sculpture. What about exhibitions? What can you tell us about? Oh, several exhibitions. <laughs> I have to slow down a bit now. Uh -huh. uh, one man shows I had a lot, you know. Uh, I don't recall. In Malta and abroad as well. Yes, in Malta and abroad, but uh, I had different ones, you know, in in, in ceramics, you know, uh, pen drawings. I, I, sometimes I did both, you know. I had uh, on the walls, I had the, you know, the drawings, and I had the sculptures in, in the in the yard, mm -hmm. and the fine arts and the archaeology. I used to do a, a exhibitions at the archaeology museum of archaeology upstairs. It was very upstairs. a good place. And for uh, the future, what are you planning for the future? Well... After you slow uh -huh. down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm experimenting at the moment with uh, 3D, sort of 3D um, scenes and streets. 
Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Once I did an experiment with, with wood, you know, it's, it, 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 uh, it's got a lot of potential as I see it, you know, because you've got a street uh -huh. showing, shown in perspective, but in sculpture, you know. Okay. Then you can do different lightings from different angles and, and the whole thing changes. So Yes, the, it, the, the it, scene it, changes. It, it's something, uh, something new also, you know. And even uh, experimenting with glass fusion and ceramics. And what about the figures that you are working on? Um, figures, I usually go to, uh, to, my, to drawings I do during the life class, you know. So from the drawing uh -huh. I go to sculpture. I like to elongate the figures, you know, and I've got a certain uh -huh. style which is, which I am being recognized with even when I, when I do the eyes, you know, the sort of cat eye, cat eyes. Okay.